certainly you were surprised by just the flat-footed dude. Stagnation. Round Stagnation. One, right? Like, what are you doing? That was the only run I might have given it to him because he landed his best shot in that round. So when he landed that shot, I was like, hmm, okay, I can take his best shot. It didn't rock me. It didn't hurt me, but I felt the thud of it. And I was like, be careful, though. Don't play into his game. Right. So he's just staying there waiting for me to rush into him. I was even expecting him to blitz at some points. But whenever he had his bounce ready to blitz, I'd, I'd mess with his mind. I, I'd, 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 I'd faint him out. I'd shift. I'd turn him. There's levels to this. And people who don't understand the intricacies of the striking sure. game don't understand. So I'd, stag, I'd, I'd, I'd cut his rhythm off. And then he'd have to restart his rhythm again with the bounce and bounce. And it's different, man. But for me, I was hoping he'd be more like my opponents of the past or like, like Kelvin and Robert who would actually bring the fight. Even Anderson, a counterfighter, yeah. he still brought the fight. And he's the same age as him. So I don't know what his excuse is. And he can try and think he won that fight. You didn't do nothing, boy. You kept your composure, obviously, when there was that eye poke and when Dan Mergliotta at one point kind of tried to get you guys to fight. Now, a referee can take a point away for timidity, right? Mm. Certainly, we weren't in that I situation. Wasn't timid. No, but were you surprised that he tried to inject himself in the fight in that way uh, or not? Well, with the eye poke, I was like, okay, fair enough, yes, because he was playing with the hands, I was playing with the hands, but with, I mean, he said, oh, come on, guys, give them something to score. I'm like, I'm doing my best. Right. This is the guy just standing there doing this. Yeah. What's that? Right. What's that? What do I have to do with that? You, it takes two to tango. I'm the one probing, trying to draw reactions. So for me, I was I was pressing the action. He wasn't doing nothing. If this bell had been taken away from you tonight, would there be more learning lessons in this fight than there are because you're still the champ? Mm, not really. I'm still. Trust me. You guys don't know. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna watch this fight yeah. over and over. I got some work to do at my after party. Show face, smile and wave. Uh, but then after that, I'm gonna go rewatch this again and see what I could have done. How I, how, how I like to attack fights is I watch the fight and be like, if I was him, if I was fighting me, how would I have beat me? Right. That's how I like to watch the fight yeah. again. And also I'd see how, what, I, what I did right in the fight, I would look at that and also I'd see how could I have done better in this fight. But first thing I'm gonna do is watch it and see how could I have beaten me in this fight. Of all the things that make you great, I think for a lot of fans, chief among them is the fact that you, not unlike Habib Nurmagomedov, always want to fight the top guy. When you dusted Robert Whitaker, you asked for Paolo Costa. Never, let it never be known. I didn't have to fight this guy. Right. A manager would have told you, nah, this is he doesn't deserve it. But I want the guy that everyone's running from. I want the guy that everyone's scared to fight. And I called him out, and I beat him. It was 4-1 or 5-0, but i would give it 4-1 if, if from my initial observation. But I have to right. watch it again. It might be 5-0. But for me, that first round, I might give it just – that's the only one I might give to him. But for me, 4-1. I'd imagine your expectation is that Paolo Costa will be next and, it, and mm -hmm. it'll be a very I know he's going to bring the fight. That Pohachina is going to bring the fight, so I'm looking forward to that definitely. Do you consider yourself a counter-striker? I mean, oftentimes at the highest – I'm a style bender, man. I yeah. do everything differently. Yeah. Like, but, um, yeah, that was my first initial style, style with fighting, with, with, with striking, was counter-fighting. And I brought that back in the Robert Whitaker fight. And a lot of people, even my cameraman, Jeff, was like, I never even see you spot like that before in this camp. And I was like, well, it's, it's in my arsenal. I just hadn't used it in a long time. But I'm looking forward to that next fight because he's a guy that I've seen many times. And I yeah. can say that definitely. Yeah. This I've never seen. I've never had a guy just stand there. Right. Like, yeah. what am I supposed to do with that? Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming and special content, subscribe to ESPN+.